Selection of the tower cranes has been done in accordance with the following criteria. Being consistent with cycle time for typical floors. Carnage analysis for typical floors. Minimization of interfaces between formwork and construction equipment. Timely erection for structural work on initial stage. Sufficient lifting load capacity and lifting number of times. Adequate and efficient dismantling strategies. Accordingly, six tower cranes of two types have been selected. HCL-357 newly custom made and HCL-280. Tower crane erection sequence. When core reaches level 5, mounting of TC1 and TC2 will begin while installation of concrete foundations for external cranes TC4, TC5 and TC6 will take place. Installation of TC3 on the tower raft will occur when core reaches level 10. TC1, 2 and 3 will be climbing in the center core following the formwork sequence with a fixed height of 63 meters. 46 meters of which are freestanding, whereas TC4, 5 and 6 will do so outside the tower perimeter to the maximum freestanding height of the tower so as to ensure the installation of the second bracing level. When core reaches level 103, TC5 climbs up and stops at level 90 of height 362 meters. This crane will remain in that height, feed the center core crane and serve auxiliary platforms located in that area. TC5 will be needed for the final dismantling procedure in order to lower crane components to the built-up ground area. Also at that level, tower cranes TC4 and TC6 will stop climbing when reaching levels 90 and 85 respectively. As core reaches level 137, TC3 will be dismantled by TC6. Dismantled parts are to be lowered down to a platform on level 78 and then to the ground floor by TC5. TC2 will then continue climbing until reaching level 133, where it meets with the core limit. At this stage, TC1 will dismantle TC2 and relocate it to an external steel cantilever. When TC1 meets with the core at the same level 133, it will be dismantled by TC2 and relocated to an external steel cantilever platform. TC1 and TC2 then climb externally until they reach levels 160 and 162 respectively. A TC1 would dismantle TC2 and relocate it on the sky terrace. As the construction of the spire core proceeds, TC1 and TC2 will keep climbing internally to reach levels 199 and 243 respectively. With the construction of the steel pinnacle ending at level 250, TC2 would have reached level 245. At the end of the construction process, dismantling sequence of all operational cranes will start. TC2 is to be dismantled by TC1, with the dismantled parts lowered down to platform at level 78, then down again to ground level by TC5. TC1 will then install a small lufting jib crane TCX type HCL160 on the Sky Terrace. TCX in turn would dismantle TC1 into the platform at level 78, with the dismantled parts lowered down to ground level by TC5. At this stage, the installation of the Derrick Crane takes place on the Sky Terrace. This Derrick Crane will dismantle Crane TCX into platform at level 78, then lowered down to ground level by TC5.